Um, welcome to day six. <laughs> day six of 33 days of manifestation. And again, this, I'm Bonita with Mariam. And our YouTube channels are in the comments. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Uh, help us manifest successful, productive YouTube channels. <laughs> and um, what was I going to say? Oh. Offerings. Yeah, we're going to have other offerings that we'll be doing directly on the YouTube channel. So um, if you're a subscriber, you will get, you'll be the first to get the notice when anything goes Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm actually, to do a little plug, I'm getting ready to do a series I'm very excited about. Uh, I One of my secret pleasures is watching like ghost hunter type TV shows. And there are some like the dead files that are like really good. But most of the shows out there are ridiculous. Like I'll call my friends who are psychic mediums and who are professional like ghost hunters and uh like mariam is a professional house clearer space clearer you know i'll call them i'm like you know we'll watch the shows together and we're just like laughing at how ridiculously bad these people are they have no idea what they're doing <laughs> um, but they have the fun gadgets and you guys know me i love gadgets so i am in the process of getting like ghost talkers and you know ovulus and things like that so <laughs> Oh, and I do have I do have some gadgets. So on my YouTube channel, I'm going to start doing a series of like, what are ghosts? What are vampires? You know, uh, aliens versus light beings. You know, that that we did that series at my wellness center. Very, very popular. Oh, and I, I, I can watch that myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that will be on my YouTube channel. That will not be here. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see me sitting in a graveyard with a ghost speaker or sitting in a place where uh, Sasquatch show up with a shaman and our ovulus, which is sort of like a ghost speaker, but it takes the uh, multidimensional and ambient energy of a space and converts it to language. Very cool. So yeah, yeah. So Wait, see Bonita. <laughs> I know. Make my yeah. day. <laughs> yes. And I mentioned this because today we're talking a bit about inspiration. And then tomorrow, Mariam, you're going to talk about the aspects. Is that correct? Yes. I'm going to um, do the manifestation through the the aspects i will explain that tomorrow so i'm excited about that mm -hmm. and i am excited about what you have to say today Bonita. yes so the thing about inspiration your intention your personal energy makes all the difference for a manifestation so the stages of basic manifestation is you know what you want and you're aware of where you're at. Then you look within yourself to release everything within you that is blocking you from going where you wanna go, getting what you wanna get. Then you open the pathway between you and what you desire, as well as to your guides, your guardians, and you create an energy that brings it to life. You know, I do spoon bending. It's the same thing. I'm taking a very solid object. I've taught people to bend rebar, you know, like it doesn't matter how thick or solid it is. When you get into the state where you are inviting reality to define itself by your wishes, it doesn't matter. You've taught me that. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Because you're teaching because Bonita is amazing at doing that. She's a wonderful teacher. I have to really do say that because it's so true oh, and thank you i learned spoon bending from you and if i'm truthful here i was skeptical and i wasn't <laughs> sure i could do it and sure enough before i knew it man i'm bending spoons and forks and all kinds <laughs> of cutlery <laughs> And guys, if you want to learn, and by the way, I then attended Mariam's spoon bending classes, which are amazing. If you want to learn, ah, where is it? Here we go. I'm going to put the link to my spoon bending 
online course on my website. It's free. It's free. So if you want to check it out, just go to my website, bonitawoods.org. And here we go. And um, I make this program free because I want everyone to be able to uh, enjoy it. So go ahead and check it out. And once in a while, I do a actual live class or something. Oh, Lori, thank you. Thank you. That's such a kind, um, kind comment. So today I want to talk about inspiration, the importance of it. Because remember, the energy that you put out is what you're going to be manifesting. You know, as Mariam said, she went to Ben Spoon, she was skeptical. But once you saw everyone else doing it, then you were like, your brain said, oh, this is real. It can't happen. Your skepticism went away and you were able to bend spoons. What if she had continued with her skepticism, she would have been manifesting denial, skepticism. Yeah. Yeah. Which the energy contracts. When you're, when you're skeptical, you're not allowing the flow of energy. And this is what you, I remember, talked about to just let the energy, you know, Mm -hmm. become one with whatever you're working with and get into the joy aspect of it and all that and I was sort of holding back I remember this was mm -hmm. and you I were getting finished. frustrated yeah and I was like well this isn't happening for me you know just kind of <laughs> yeah and then you let it go and then it happened yeah. once you realize oh it can happen if it can happen for them why not me right then right. it happened so you guys, I'm going to share with you a picture because again, our intention, our full openness, our energy is much more powerful and palpable than we give ourselves credit for. So I photographed myself with my aura camera and I'll tell you some people, they have their same aura their whole lives um, because they're here for a very specific purpose. Other people like me, my aura changes by my focus. I, I can change it like literally by the minute if I want. <laughs> uh, and that's, if you ever take my aura class, um, you'll understand that's how it is. So this is my aura. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, good. This is my aura. I took it a few days ago when I was thinking about my students and my clients. And as you can see, if you know how to read auras, this is all about healing and caregiving in the mind, body, spirit level. And let's see. Okay, it's going to make me stop share and reshare for the next picture. So, um, ah, Zoom is super awkward when you're trying to share multiple things. Um, this is my aura when I connect with my divine guides and resonate with love. Wow. You see my crown chakra is all like golden and you see there's white in there. It's all like purple, pink, deep blue. This is all about, this is my aura when I'm just like left to my own, <laughs> you know, just doing my thing. Um, I love it. So thank you. So I mentioned this because my intention, my focus literally changed my entire energetic being, my resonance. So whatever your focus is with your full open heart and your mind with your intention is what you will attract. That's why I talk about the importance of asking for inspiration because that raises you mm -hmm. up. You know, you're not going to ask for desperation, <laughs> but if we're manifesting from a desperate place, oh my God, I need it to be better. We will manifest desperation. So remove all the words like need, must, you know, anything negative or whatever, and bring in inspiration. Inspiration always lifts you up. If you're not sure how to do it, what I'll do is I will literally sit for like five or 10 minutes chanting. I'm not good at out loud chanting. So I just chant in my mind the word love or the word joy or love, joy, joy, love, 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 joy, love, you know, and just like 
focusing on the feeling of those words, my energy will lift up. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to do a quick manifestation because I think I'm, yeah, we're running over time again. Always my times we run over. I'm so chatty. Um, we're going to do a manifestation for an inspiration. And um, I think we can all use that for yes. sure. <laughs> you know, it's one of my favorite Buddhist sayings. A happy man has a full belly and an empty head, which is, you know, humorous, of course. But what they're saying is we have three brains in our body. We have our head brain. We have our heart brain. And we have our, you know, sacral chakra, our stomach area brain, our gut instinct brain. So if you fill yourself with happiness, if you fill your heart and you fill your belly and you let them come into alignment with what you want, then the brain is told how to make it happen. So your inspiration should always come from heart and from gut. The brain should not dictate what you do. The brain then comes in and says, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. So this is why we go for inspiration. You let your belly and your heart go forward to manifest the vision. Then you're like, brain, make it happen. And the brain will be like, ah, you can't do that. That's where you release everything that's blocking you within you from achieving what you desire or attracting what you desire. So then you talk to your brain. Why can't I do that? And the brain's like, yeah, you're not special enough. Or, oh, you're too stupid. Or, oh, you're this or that. I mean, we all have it. Trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just release all of those blocks. This is not telling you you can't do that. This is your brain or your ego telling you what you need to release so that you can then go forward. Basically, your head brain is saying, I want to do this for you. First, we got to clear this clutter. Okay, now here's the plan. We're going to attract it. We're going to go for you, know, whatever the plan is. Sometimes it's you going forward. Sometimes it's what you desire coming to you or a bit of both. As you go forward, what you desire is waiting for you. You guys know I was asking for more shooting stars. Last night, we photographed a shooting star. You'll see the picture here on my Facebook page. So amazing yes all right meditation time this is quick and i want you to practice this multiple times as you go through your day all right get yourself comfortable and invite your heart and your gut your gut instinct and your heart to connect with each other Invite them to sort of communicate. They're a team. And invite whatever spark of joy or excitement or curiosity you have within you, whatever positive emotion, to sort of come and, and fuel the energy of your heart and your gut. Your head brain can turn off right now. It's not needed. We are just in the core of our body, filling ourselves up, filling ourselves up, letting the heart and the gut sort of absorb whatever positive frequency they want, and then invite it to radiate out. You don't need to contain it just like my auric images that you saw, invited to just radiate out. And if you like how that feels, invite the frequency, the ambiance to become even more radiant, more positive, more happy, excited. And then you can Look in your heart, your gut, your core, and say, what do I desire? Or if you have a desire in your mind, you can say, this is what I desire. And look at what comes back to you. 
is you may receive back a variation on that or an overwhelm, overall ambiance that's within it. Inspiration is always a good place to start. You can always ask your heart, give me inspiration. Ask your gut, your place of instinct, the easiest way for your guardian angel to connect with you and guide you. Ask them to connect and inspire you. Bring inspiration into your day, into your life. And then just put it out there. Let it radiate from you and flow forward. Let it flow forward from your heart, your gut, your being to your life path. Then you can give it to your head brain and say, this is what we're doing. Make it happen. As you go through your day, Return to this energetic space, this communication space, and listen to your brain as your brain lets you know everything that needs to be cleared out so that it can go and call whatever you desire into your life. And as you go through your day, your week, your month, anytime anything happens that you feel like this is part of that manifestation, Acknowledge it with gratitude. Even if in your head it's like, eh, is it really? There's a logical explanation. It doesn't matter. The easiest way for manifestations to occur are through direct paths of logic. <laughs> so <laughs> invite it. Invite it. Invite it with gratitude. Let the magic live. Beautiful. Okay, well, guys, I ran a few minutes over. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I there that I totally got inspiration for a series to do. Of a, sort of a, I don't want to call it a class, but it could very well be one. Uh, but it's a series that I would lead. That's excellent. Totally inspired. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful day and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful, inspired day. That's my wish for you.